going on everybody and welcome to a brand new video on my channel if you're new my name is elite and today i'm gonna bring the hybrid nation squad building challenge cheapest solution to you guys now first and foremost you don't need any loyalty on this squad building challenge so if you're doing it with loyalty you're doing it wrong there's a much easier and probably much cheaper way to do it and i'm going to show you in this video if it does end up helping you out make sure to drop a like on the video and also subscribe to the channel if you are new let's go ahead and hop right into it guys hybrid nations and you get a rare mega pack for completing all of it that's a 55k pack essentially what that means is that you're getting a mega pack which is a 35k pack but they're all rare so 30 player or 30 cards and they're all rare but there are some consumables normally you get about 10 or 11 rare players on average in a 55k pack it's actually one of the better packs in the game definitely worth completing the squad building challenge because it only costs like 22,000 coins in total to complete all of these so not only are you completing all all four of these for like 22,000 coins and that can fluctuate throughout the year so if you're watching the day of this upload then it's going to be about 22,000 coins but if you're watching maybe three months from now maybe it's 24,000 maybe if it's like uh, a week where 83 rateds are inflated in price I know I use uh, an 83 rated national pride maybe it's like 28,000 coins but overall this is going to stay one of the cheapest solutions throughout the year because what I do is I use gold players just the lower rated gold players because I know those are going to stay discard price unless they're inflated like a marquee matchup or something that's you know artificially inflating a card while with silvers and bronzes you know those cards can just skyrocket if four people buy them because there's just not enough supply but for non-rare golds and low rated rare golds they're the way to go guys so let's hop into quads where you need four nations you need three players from the same nation four rare players and a 75 overall rating with 80 chemistry it's one of the easier ones to complete and you get a 25k pack in return it's going to cost you about four or five thousand coins somewhere in that range so let's hop into it now i do this is the only squad in the hybrid nations where i use a couple bronze players but i'm going to explain what you can actually do to replace those bronze players with other bronze players or other lower rated gold cards i just use those because i found these guys that worked for the squad so the first one is willis then we're going to go with a gold card Swedish guy at center back and his name is going to be Hellander. Ockford is an American center back at 64 rated and then we're going to go with another American center back uh, Marquez at 64 rated. So we're going to come back to that. Let me get through the rest of the squad. Dermaz is going to play left midfielder right there and he gets that weak link through Sweden over here. Remember we need four nations exactly. That's going to be one of the nations and USA is going to be one of the nations. As you guys can see the other two nations are going to be uh, Spanish and German. So the midfielders are going to be the Garcia guys here. Xavi Garcia's and Manu Garcia. I was going to say the Garcia brothers, but I have no idea if they're related. Then we're going to go with Claus at right mid. He's going to be our first German in the squad. And then we're going to go with Pere Pons at center attacking midfielder. Don't worry about getting him in position. Don't worry about getting any of these guys in position. They'll still get like eight or nine chemistry, and that'll end up being just fine for the 80 chemistry we need for the squad. The strikers are going to be Wagner from Bayern, and then the other striker is going to be a player from Wolfsburg that gets a hyperlink at that right side of the Field. His name is Ginkzek, and he's a gold rare card as well, which uh, helps us uh, complete the squad with four rare players. So he's our last rare player. Where are the other three rare players? Well, you guessed it. It's this triangle right here between the Americans. All three of these guys, as you can see, bronze rare, and then the other guy is a bronze rare, and then the goalkeeper is also a bro uh, silver rare. Uh, that is so they get the rest of the rare cards now you don't have to go with these three guys obviously but you do have to go with three rare cards so if you wanted to you could go extra rating which might cost a little bit more and go with three rare guys from let's say the french league and you went with a uh, french goalkeeper from the league one and then a french center back from the league one and another french center back from the league one all rare cards that's going to add up to like 2000 maybe 2500 coins it's probably best if you search around a little bit maybe go with nor Norway, the Norwegian League, or go the lower league from the English leagues because there's four English leagues in the game. You got Premier League, you got the EFL Championship, and then the EFL League 1 and the EFL League 2. Go with like e EFL League 1 or EFL League 2, choose one of them. Go with those um, lower rated, maybe 63 to 70 rated players, and just find some rare cards that go for like 250 coins. And that's probably the cheapest way you guys can do it because if we all go with the same bronzes, we know that cards are they're, they're going to get price fixed or they're just going to be up in price because everybody's using them. You don't want to do that. So that's a 25k pack. You're completing the squad for about 4,000 coins. Definitely worth it. Let's move 
move on to the second squad in the squad building challenge for hybrid nations, which is called the six. You need exactly six nations. You need two players from the same nation at the maximum, and you need a 70 rating and an 85 chemistry. As I said, I'm going to try to go with gold cards and this one as well. I went with all golds, but if there's a couple positions where you're like, hey, I can go with a silver, I can go with a bronze here, and it'll still work, go for it. If it's cheaper, that's up to you. But the reason I'm going with golds is because if this is seen by like thousands of people, I don't want to go with silvers because they'll get price fixed and they'll go up in price, as I mentioned before. So we're going to go with Lossel here at goalkeeper. And then at left back, we're going to add our second nation in Austrelec. Austrelec from Hanover. Our first center back is going to be Gary Cahill. And then he's going to link with Phil Jones. Now, Let's say Chelsea or Manchester United get into marquee matchups, and these cards go up to like two or 3,000 coins. You can simply replace them. Let's say Phil Jagielka is another option, or you can just go with one of the bronzes or silvers. As long as it's still English and from the Premier League, it'll still work. At right back, we're going to add our fourth nation, which is going to be Xavi Lopez. We're going to get that strong link over on the left side. No hyperlink needed. That guy's name's Tommy with an H in it. Then we're going to go Schneiderlin and Kapui in the midfield. Those are two players from the Premier League, and they're both uh, French, so they get the strong link in the middle. So as you guys can see, we're only going with two players from each nation. At right mid, we're going to get our second Spanish player. So we've got two French, two English, two German, two Spanish, and our odd man out is going to be the Danish goalkeeper. The strikers are going to be both players from Uruguay, and that's going to complete the squad and get us 86 chemistry and a 78 rating. So as you guys can see, plenty of rating to work with. If you want to go with a lower player card, you can. If you want to go with four lower player, uh, lower rated cards, you can. You get a 7.5k pack for about 5,000 coins. So is that worth it? Probably not if you're doing this SBC alone. But remember, we're working towards a 55k pack. So you want to complete it because you want to get that 55k pack at the end. It Takes 8 is the next one where you need exactly 8 nations. In return, you get a 45k pack as well, which is definitely worth it for completing this one. You get, uh, you need exactly 8 nations, a maximum of 2 players from the same nation as well, which means that you're going to have to go with 3 guys linking with nations. And then we need all gold players, so there's no choice really on this one. 5 of them need to be rare, and we need at least 88 chemistry, which isn't too hard given the fact we have no league requirement, which means we can all go in the same league right here as long as we get 3 players from the same nation to link together, which can be a little bit more difficult than it seems, but we only need 88 uh, chemistry, so we can actually just go with one of the players from a different league and just get that weak link there, even if it costs us a little bit of chemistry. Our first nation is going to be Babakan. He's going to be one of our rare cards at goalkeeper, as you guys can see right there. At left back, we're going to go with a player named Kaldarim, and he's going to be our second Turkish player, so right now we still only have one nation. Here's our third nation. It's actually going to be Burkina Faso from Bakan. Kone. He's going to play our center back position. And then our th uh, third nation is going to be Skirtle from Slovakia. So he's going to play center back. As you guys can see, this guy's from Erda Berlin here, Pekarik. He's from Slovakia as well. And he's just there to get that weak link. And he's not really going to be on good chemistry. But again, we only need 88. Our uh, Another nation to add, we got Serbia here. Uh, La Lajic. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce that name whatsoever, but that's your guy. And then we're going to go with Hutchinson, who's actually Canadian. And surprisingly, we are going to go with two Canadians in this squad. While in previous FIFAs, there weren't even two gold Canadian players. They're on the come up, guys. Belanda's going to play right center mid, and then Fernandez is going to play left wing from Chile. At striker is our second uh, Canadian player. That's Kyle Lorin. And then our right wing is going to be Faguli. As you guys can see, we get ourselves a 78 rating and 92 chemistry. They're all gold cards. We do have the five rare players in the squad, and you get a 45k pack. Remember, if you replace any of these guys in here, make sure you don't replace one of the rare cards, because if you replace a rare card with a non-rare card, it's not going to end up working. But overall, still only costing you about 6,000 coins, maybe 7,000, because there are a couple rare cards in there that might cost like 1,000 coins each. Next up, we've got National Pride, which needs exactly... 10 nations, which means you're only going to have one nation where there's two players from the same nation. You need seven rare players, which is going to make this one cost about 8,000 coins and an overall rating of 80. So if there is a time where 83s are really inflated due to an SBC, 
this one's going to cost a little more because we do use one 80 rated card. But if you guys are using loyalty on this, you're doing it wrong. You can actually do this one perfectly fine without any loyalty whatsoever. It's actually quite easy. You can do it. You can probably get 105 chemistry with these requirements because you can go with the exact same league throughout. And we go with La Liga on this one. We're going with Vaklik at goalkeeper. He's from the Czech Republic. At left winger back, we're going Mojica. And he's already in position, so that works perfectly and adds Colombia to the mix. Then we're going to go with a Danish center back, Jer, there. And I don't know why I choose the guys with the toughest names for these squad building challenges, but that's your, uh, your next guy from France, Gnagnon. And then we're going with Daniel Carrico from Portugal at right center back. At uh, right winger back, we're going with Alex Vidal. And as you guys might notice by the end of the this SBC, we're going to have 99 chemistry. All you need to do is choose one of the players and get them in position. One of them could be the right back to right winger back. The next one could be Vasquez from cam to center mid. Uh, or you can go with Banega from cam to center mid. That's our only 83 rated card right now. And he's actually very, very cheap as of right now. He only goes for about 700, maybe maybe 800 coins on buy now. Very cheap 83 as of right now. Um, when I'm recording this video at the beginning of FIFA. Now, there are times throughout the year where I realize 83s are going to be a little bit inflated. So you could just spend the extra coinage on them, or you could try to find a different way by maybe making our center back a little bit higher rated and then lowering the rating of the center mid and going with maybe the Atletico center mid that's, uh, that's Argentinian, something along those lines. Then at left mid, uh, we're going to go with Morales, and he is going to be a player from Spain. So that is the nation where we go with two of the same nation. It's going to be Spain. As you can see, we got Alex Vidal at right winger back, and then the left winger is also from Spain. So we can't go with the same nation at all through the rest of the squad. And as you guys can see, we uh, find a way around it by going with Batshuayi at right, uh, or at striker, and then at right wing, we go with Perez. So Batshuayi there, and then Perez right here. And that completes the squad with 80 rating, uh, 7 rare cards exactly, 10 nations exactly, and 99 chemistry. So again, if you wanted to go left mid to left wing or right mid to right wing, it would still work just fine. So that's how you complete that for a mega pack. And then overall, you get a 55k pack. If you guys use this solution, there's no way you can lose coins. And I guarantee you, some of you guys might make a lot of profit. If this video ended up helping you out, make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new for more trading to glory content, squad building challenge guides like these, trading tips in general, and much more. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.